The whole atmosphere here reminds me of uh, Harry Potter's Hogsmeade. Butterbeer, he was also a medium. I've never really been the one who's worked. Hey there, guys! Welcome to Dramatically Expatic and welcome to Grazzano Visconti. Today I'm taking you to this fascinating little town in Italy, in Emilia-Romagna region, that is a real-life film set almost, and in a moment you will find out why. What's most important is that this town is considered one of the most beautiful medieval towns in Italy. But things are more complicated than that, because this town is not exactly medieval. I know there's a lot of mystery and you might have a lot of questions right now, but I will answer all of them in this video. So, if you're ready guys, let's go with me! This town was completely renovated by the Duke Giuseppe Visconti. Uh, Giuseppe Visconti belonged to a very famous and ancient Visconti family, uh, although he lived last century, basically a little bit more than 100 years ago. And when he was renovating this place, it all been happening mere 100 years ago, guys, all of these beautiful, wonderfully uh, sculpted buildings are not exactly medieval, but everything was renovated in this neo-medieval style and I want to show it to you because I think this uh, borgo, this town is one of a kind absolutely because you will not find this uh, very detailed representation of medieval style when it's not exactly medieval. And I know it's not exactly a very Italian thing because you can find lots of uh, real medieval towns here. However, this one is one of a kind and I will tell you why. Guys, this town is so charming right away when you just enter it, look around. It looks like a fairy tale town. And honestly, I mean, yes, I know that it's all been built quite recently compared to other places in Italy. But in my opinion, this is the most fairy tale town I've visited so far because everything is curated in such a detail with so much love. You can actually see and feel that Giuseppe Visconti really loved and cared for this place. And I love it, just look at these buildings with all the wisteria, uh, bushes and all of these tiny little details. I have no words, I love it so much. I just can't wait to see more of this town. Although this town was renovated in the previous century, uh, the settlement, the town existed here since the medieval times, of course. The castle behind my back, like this is just the part of the castle with a beautiful park around, was built in the 14th century by the Anguissola family. In the eye of that family was the husband of a certain Beatrice Visconti, who was a sister of Gian Galeazzo Visconti, a very famous uh, member of the Visconti family. And so technically the Visconti family has had their influence here ever since. However, until the 19th century, the uh, town, like this area, the land was in property of the Anguissola family before being passed to the Visconti family. And in 1910, uh, Giuseppe Visconti started the renovations in the castle and in the whole town. And today we can see the result of his work. And in my opinion, the result is above any expectation you could have of it. The town seems quite sleepy and we haven't met anybody yet, but I feel like it might be because it's like 2 p.m. to 30 p.m. I think. So I suppose everyone is indoors having lunch and maybe a little siesta, but oh, look here guys. Wow, that is amazing. This place is just, it's just joke dropping. I'm in all of these little courtyards and these magical corners. I feel like the fact that there is nobody here, nobody else here, only adds to this whole feeling of being inside a fairy tale. I'm just living my cottage core slash fairy tale dream, honestly. A 
very important fact that I haven't told you yet, guys, is that Giuseppe Visconti was not only an exceptional visionary and a very educated person, he was also the father of Lucchino Visconti, who's probably one of the most famous Italian directors and my personal favorite. And if you've been here for a while, you know that I'm very passionate about cinema and I've been a certain cinema major when I've been doing my bachelor's degree. So obviously being here and touching in a certain sense something related to Lucchino Visconti is very special to me. I think there might be a certain link between the fact that Giuseppe Visconti ordered uh, the reconstruction of this place as if it was a real-life movie set and the fact that his son uh, has become one of the most famous and important directors in history. But also, speaking of movie sets, it feels like you are inside a movie set and the whole atmosphere here reminds me of uh, Harry Potter's Hogsmeade. Definitely, walking here, you feel like you've been teleported to Hogsmeade, or maybe, you know, without teleportation, just being inside Italian Hogsmeade. When I said you feel like if you were in Hogsmeade here, I said that because I knew where I was heading. Emporio Stregato is uh, a local shop that sells all the Harry Potter merchant stuff and you can find here the fantastic creatures, magic wands and magical ex elixirs and magical sweets. It's my first time here. I'm so excited because I've heard about this place before, but let's see what's inside. Guys, here is what we got inside the shop. Also, look at the back, it's really it's really nice. So we got butter beer, obviously. Something so typical to take is butter beer, like and we also got the chocolate frogs, a couple of chocolate frogs, and most importantly. Bertie Boat beans. I don't know what will be inside. I actually hope that the taste here will not be as bad as they could be in the real Harry Potter world. But overall, I think this is such a cool place. Uh, no matter whether you're an adult or you have kids, I think you'll love it if you're a Harry Potter fan. And also, considering the whole environment here, considering the whole ambient of this uh, village, it works perfectly because it really feels like Hogsmeade. Guys, I'm so excited to present to you Eloisa, this uh, woman who is a very famous character here. The story goes back to the times when Giuseppe Visconti lived here in the castle and all members of Visconti family were somewhat bothered by a spirit who was present in the castle. Giuseppe Visconti was not only a great visionary, as I already said before, he was also a medium and quite a successful one. He managed to organize a spiritual session during which Eloisa presented herself to the Duke, telling him her story that she used to live in that castle. She was married to a military uh, man, to military commander who cheated on her. And because she was so heartbroken, she died of sorrow and of pain. And ever since, she was considered the patron of uh, the couples here in Grazano Visconti, the couples who were happy. She was uh, allegedly helping them in their uh, love life. And the couples, instead, who were cheating on each other, she was capable of finding that out and, you know, bringing that to light. And 
Even today, there are people who bring her little gifts like uh, necklaces and uh, small stuff, or even money. I can see coins here or some leaves, a lot of coins here, actually. Uh, so yeah, people still bring gifts to her, hoping to get her patronage and hoping to get her uh, protection if they're in love. I think it's so sweet. And that's it for today, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this walking tour, this travel vlog from Grazano Visconti. I loved this town. I think it's so magical. I've never seen anything similar in my life and I've never seen a town as uh, as magical and as fairy tale like as this one. Whether you're a Harry Potter fan or not, I think you'll enjoy it because uh, how can you not? The architecture, the streets, the style, everything here is so magical and uh, there are so many wonderful legends and mysteries surrounding this town and with all these cute artisanal shops and little nice cafes and restaurants, I think you're bound to love it. As always guys, please don't forget to put a thumbs up, comment and share this video with your friends so I can make more videos like this. And if you're new here, welcome to Dramatically Expatic. If you love traveling, if you want to see more travel vlogs, uh, more fairy tale towns like this, as well as big cities or underrated destinations, as well as maybe touristy places, but with a different uh, perspective, don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to my channel. Hit that bell button down below so you get the notifications of all the upcoming videos. Thank you guys for being here and enjoy your day.